Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another five minute card video. Today's video is a technique video where I'm going to show you how you can color using household bleach as your coloring medium. I'm going to start with a little bit of Versamark ink. I used my um, embossing magic pad to remove any static from the surface of my card. And then I'm using some Versamark. This is a watermark and embossing ink. You can use any watermark and embossing ink. And I'm gonna stamp that first butterfly up near the top, making sure I get good contact. Then I'm going to stamp another one in the middle. Really wanna make sure this is inky. And we'll stamp one right here. And again, good contact with the paper. And then one down at the bottom. And I'm trying not to overlap the butterflies. Just making sure that they're spaced out as nicely as possible. Now my next step is to put a little embossing powder on here. I'm going to use the Gina K Designs Fine Detail Black Embossing Powder. I have tried this with white and it looks pretty good, but I decided to go with black today because I really like the contrast between the color that this comes up to and the black embossing. So I wanna make sure I've got enough embossing powder on there. And then I'm gonna blow away the excess and anything that I can't get off with just blowing it away, I'm gonna use a small paintbrush and remove all of that. I just took a moment to put my embossing powder away. And now I'm going to heat this up with my Wagner heat tool. I'm not gonna make you watch this process because it does get very loud, but I do like to heat up my embossing gun for just a minute before I actually start embossing, just to make sure the powder melts quickly and it doesn't warp the paper too, too much. Now you can see that embossing looks nice and shiny. I have good coverage. So now I'm going to use some regular Clorox household bleach. And what I've done is I've poured a little bit into a cup here, and then I have a very fine tip paintbrush. And I am going to, it's got a little embossing powder in it. I'm going to just paint over my entire butterfly, not worrying at all about going over that embossing powder. The reason you have to emboss first is because if you try to do this with just ink, it's actually going to bleach away all your ink as well. So you're going to see absolutely nothing except white blotches left behind. But the bleach does not affect the embossing powder, so your design stays intact. And also the bleach is really helpful because the, the bleach, I'm sorry, the embossing powder is really helpful because the bleach actually pulls into the embossing powder and the embossing powder holds it in place because it's raised a bit. So you don't have to worry about it running outside of your design, a big plus. Now every color cardstock is going to come up a different color. So if you like this technique, you could make a little swatch book of all of your different cardstock colors to see what color they come up when they're bleached. Just stamp and emboss an image on a small square and bleach it, and then you'll always have a reference. And that's really helpful when choosing what color card base or what color, color embellishments you wanna to add to your card, because you can kind of match that to the color that the cardstock bleaches up to. And I'm almost done here. And you can see how the one that I started with is getting really bright. It just takes a few minutes. Now, if you don't have a lot of patience or you need it to dry more quickly, you can take your Wagner heat tool and you can run it over the design and it will actually bring the bleached image up even more and it'll dry everything really quickly. So I'm gonna do that because I wanna make sure that you get to see the finished card too. You can go back and add a little bleach to any areas that you missed. 
And then I'm going to put the clothes pin back on and get my heat tool. And I'll just show you how this looks. As it dries, it starts to get even whiter. But I really like this color that it leaves behind. It's a very buttery yellow. And you can see I went a little bit outside of the lines down here on this bottom one, and it does show up. So you do want to try to be a little bit careful, but you won't have to rush very much. You can take your time. And you can see how the heat tool is bringing that color up even brighter as it dries. So now I'm going to adhere this panel onto a black panel. So let me get my tape. And because it is just a little warpy, I am going to use a little extra tape on this. And this is going to match at the top and the bottom. This panel measures two and a half by four and three quarters. And then the black layer is uh, two and five eighths by four and three quarters. And then what I did was I put a white panel onto a black panel and then onto an innocent pink card base. I thought innocent pink was a nice spring color and it looked really nice with the gray. And I'm gonna put that right in the center of the card. Like that. And then I have one of the greetings from the mixed messages uh, sentiment strips and I cut it out with the sentiment strips dies. I put a little foam square pieces on the back and I'm going to hide that little bleach mark by popping it right kind of like right in this area. I guess I'm not really going to hide it but it's okay. It's handmade right? All right so there's my finished card and you can see that embossing powder is still nice and shiny and those butterflies are bright and vibrant. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little technique and I hope you'll give it a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more five minute card videos, five minute technique videos, and more Stampin' Chat lives. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again real soon.